Welcome to another video from Now I See Ministries. Um, my name is Brian. I'd like to welcome you to the channel. If you can, please subscribe to this channel. That way you get notifications. Click that little bell so you get all the notifications. That way when we get new videos come out, you get them all and you'll be able to watch them. Like this video, please share them with your friends because what we are trying to do is get a health message out into this world, especially a world that is really going through so much right now and it can use a lot of healing and this is one way to actually start healing this world um, but today what we have is a little juice recipe um, that helps break up all the pus and mucus buildup and constipation that is in each and every one of us from years of eating you know genetically modified breads or you know just nothing but rice and very little fiber and anything you know that's that is a that is a recipe for disaster if you will but this is a recipe of undisaster I like it um, so what you have here is a healing juice now I know I've seen many other uh, raw vegans out there who promote juices uh, create certain things like this uh, like Fully Raw Christina and Dan McDonald. I'd like to put a big shout out to both of them because they helped me get my start in my health journey. And this is kind of like a, my own variation that I created, even though somebody else might have this same um, recipe out there. I'm not trying to steal from them. This is how I like to do mine. Uh, it's kind of hard, you know, not to have almost the same recipe as somebody else because. You know, when you do fruits and vegetables like this, there's only so many ways to do it and so many different variations, but there's a abundant amount of variations out there. But this is something that's close to it, and mainly what we're trying to do is do like a celery juice. And I know a lot of people just do straight celery juice, but I just want to add a few other things in here that makes it a little bit more medicinal and helps the body work better. So what we have here is organic kale. Now, the argument of organic and not organic, if at all possible, when you can get organic. If you cannot, that's fine too. You know, the benefits outweigh the risk if it's organic or not. Uh, the organic kale that I get is basically the same price as the non-organic. So, no brainer right there. Now, we have lime. This is two limes that we have cut up into quarters, or sliced up into quarters. Uh, we shaved the outside since they were non-organic limes. Um, cucumbers, I have one cucumber. And since it was non-organic, we shaved the outside off. Okay, we kept the inside, which is really the most important thing. We're looking for the, as Dan McDonald puts it, the living water on the inside of the uh, fruits and vegetables. Now we have an organic celery uh, stalk bunch. Um, the whole thing is what we're going to use. And we also have some ginger. I like to put ginger with either lemon or lime. And that's a wonderful recipe for all your juices. Now we also have um, some parsley. Let me rinse this one off a little bit. There we go. Okay, what we have here is parsley that we got from our own garden. Now we took out most of the leaves, but it's still growing the stalks and everything in the garden. So we wanted to, um, my wife wanted to cut them all out and throw them out. And I was like, no, no, we'll juice them. You know, it's medicinal. We can still use the juice that's even in the stalk. Uh, we don't need just the leaf. So I'm going to go ahead and get started here. Now, we also have my green star juicer that I got from my father, praise the Lord. Um, his wife's sister had this juicer in their garage for many years and she wasn't using, using it. But whenever I started juicing, my dad said, hey, we have this juicer in the garage. Let me send it to you. So they sent me this wonderful old green star and this thing is a wonderful machine to juice, uh, especially whenever you're doing things like the uh, like the parsley here to get through those leafy greens and the kale. The Green Star slow masticating juicers are the best for that. The centrifugal juicer, the Breville that I have, is great for juicing like the celery and the cucumber and the limes, but it, it just doesn't match up 
whenever you're trying to do leafy greens. The Green Star or any slow masticating juicer like that will work. So why don't we go ahead and get started. And I'm going to go ahead and start putting in the kale. Now the only bad thing about a slow masticating juicer like this is it takes a little time. It is a little slower, so this is probably going to be a lot longer video than most, especially if I had the Breville. I mean, we could we could definitely go a lot faster if we had the Breville. But let me see. I guess we'll have to find something to talk about while we're juicing here. Now, this juice I found in the last ten years, or not 10 years, but the last 8 years, that it's very beneficial to help a person heal their body. To find an abundant amount of health. Health that they never knew that they had. Especially if you're, um, you have a history of eating all the different cereals that they had when we were a kid, and of course they um, they create commercials for kids to want to tell their parents to go get such and such cereal to eat, and then you're going to put um, dairy milk on top of that. Um, Now, I used to get my daughter, whenever she was younger, I used to get her some cereals, but I would also make banana milk. Instead of putting dairy milk or even, a, even almond milk or anything like that, I would take a banana and a little bit of water, put it in a blender, and basically make like a banana smoothie, straight banana smoothie, and pour that over her cereal. And she used to love that so much. So there's another recipe for you. Banana milk, just for cereal. All right, now you see the, uh, the parsley, whenever you send that through, that'll just grab it and take it right down. And you see the, uh, you see the juice still coming from those. Even though we're doing the stalks and the leaves, it still gets the water and everything out of those stalks. The living water that's in all that food. Let's kind of loosen this up a little bit. That way things will start coming out. Now that we got the juicer basically moving, and we got the juice coming through. Mmm, plus you can smell that parsley coming out. A wonderful, wonderful smell. And like I said, this is a whole stalk of celery. Now this is probably going to create more than 32 ounces of juice. That's the reason why I have two jars right here. Now, juicing is not something that I do every day anymore, but it was very, to me, it was very beneficial in the beginning to help break up the things that are stuck on the little villi that are in your digestive system, in your small intestines. It helps break up all that stuff that's clogging it up because a lot of times just eating fruits and vegetables just is not going to be enough because you have so much blockage in your digestive system. When you've spent years and decades clogging up the thing that is supposed to help bring nutrients into your body to let your muscles work right, to let your mind work right, um, it takes a, little, takes a little work. It really does. You know, the first year, whenever I was doing this, 
I didn't realize how much work I still had to do, even after the first year. You know, it's it's good that you start eating healthy. All right, now we got. Need to go ahead and turn this off just for a second. I like to shake that so it'll drip a little bit of the extra. That's right there into this. All right. See, look at all this wonderful juice. Now you just pour this, and I have a strainer over the top so it kind of like gets some of the frothy stuff out of there. That way you don't have to strain it afterwards. I like to do it all at the same time. Now if you want, you can take this over to the sink. Cleaned off the screen a little bit, so it will. See now that's the start. Nice and green. It's beautiful. Green is beautiful. It's a beautiful color. I used to have a car that was green until I had a head-on collision with a deer running across the road, and that totaled that little car out real quick. Miss that little car. But I was blessed with another car from a friend of mine who blessed me. If he ever watches this video, I gotta put out a big shout out to my brother Luis. A wonderful man of God. God help me find this path. So I praise God every single day. And I realize that I probably lost a bunch of viewers right there when I said that, but I'm not ashamed to say that God is great. I love God. God is truth. Especially in this world where there is so much untruth. You need something like God in your life to help you navigate through the right and the wrong. Because if you're not praising Him, you're praising the other. We are almost done with this juice. See, it really doesn't really take that long, but I think the preparation was about five, ten minutes. And then we have this time to make the juice. And this juice is for my wonderful wife. I wonder if she'll come into the video real quick. No? No, oh, okay. She just came in from watering the plants. So now if you want, you can even take like some of the pulp. If you don't think it's dry enough, you can grab it and put it through again, maybe squeeze a little bit more of the juice out. And I saw this one video not too long ago where you can take this pulp, put them into little ice, ice cube trays, and take the pulp and put those into your smoothies every single day. You know, you can make a banana smoothie and for the extra fiber, throw this in there. That way you're not wasting any of the pulp. Or this is good compost, or you can make patties out of them, or anything that you want to do. But this is a very healthy juice for healing the body. I'm gonna go ahead and pour out the rest here. Now, uh, like I said, this is a little more than 32 ounces, so we're going to go ahead and go into the second jar, and then we will mix these two together. Uh oh looks like I'm losing a little bit of the juice down here. Alright, so we're just going to mix these two together. 
Now you can put this into one big jar and just stir it, but I like mixing my juices like this. Let them kind of like naturally stir together. There you go right there, that's one 32 ounce jar and here's a little bit extra. So of course drink both of these, um, take about a half hour to do it, sit around, read your Bible, meditate to the Word of God and drink your juices and just spend your time getting to know the Lord and to understand how your body can heal itself. All right, so work up on breaking up that constipation throughout your digestive tract and to use these juices to help heal yourself and especially in the mind, heart, and your body, especially in your body. Um, God gave us wonderful fruits and vegetables for healing as our food and we should use them every chance you get. So thank you for watching this video. Please, like I said, subscribe to the channel like this video share it with your friends get the word out that the message of god is a healing message and thank you for the time thank you for sticking with me for over 16 minutes i know this is a long video but a lot of the recipe videos tend to be a little bit long and sometimes i get a little long-winded but that's okay you know whenever you're praising the most high it's all right to be a little bit long-winded you know, you should, you should be more than long-winded, actually. It should be every moment of every single day that you are being long-winded for the Lord. So thank you, praise the Lord, and have a glorious day. Goodbye.